Maybe she overslept. We're here! I... What's got you all looking so worried? Oh! Maybe she's just running late. But I was told she had left first thing this morning. And now Sino's here, but Nilu's still nowhere to be found! We interrogated the people in charge of the caravan on the day of the incident. But they were technically the victims of the case. And all their goods were lost, so there was no evidence to investigate. Their goods are certainly suspicious. But until we recover them, all we can do is to observe the caravan under the guise of protection. We contacted the original seller of the gem. Apparently, he sold the other half to a young man in the desert, but that's all he could tell us. Wait, you think Nilu's disappearance is connected to all this? Traveler, Candace, there's no time to waste. Let's try to follow her trail. Tainari, can you stay back and explain the situation to everyone when they arrive? Let's start with the Grand Bazaar. We should ask around for clues. Did you need something? We're looking for Nilu. Do you know where she is? Nilu? Hmm. She left bright and early this morning. Said she had to help out a friend. Was she by herself? And did you happen to see which gate she used to leave the city? Well, she definitely left alone. As for the direction, uh, I think she left through the gate to the north. <sighs> so, the complete opposite direction of Pardis Di. Did something happen? This is no time for practical jokes, you know. Mr. Zubair, could you send word to Pardis Di if Nilu comes back to the Grand Bazaar? Of course. I'm sure she just got caught up in something. Still, let me know if you find her. We will. All right. Let's leave through the North Gate and see what we can find. Miss Navita, have you seen Nilu this morning? Nilu? Oh yes, I saw her head out of the city. She was wearing the prettiest outfit. Which way did she go? That way, I believe. Was there anyone following her? Did everything look okay? I mean, it looked like she was in a good mood. She even stopped to say hello. And no, I didn't see anyone else. <laughs> All right. Thank you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Have any of you seen Miss Nilu from Zubair Theater come this way? Yes, General. I saw Miss Nilu cross the bridge after leaving the city this morning. There was a man waiting for her on the other side. Wait, could that be the person who bought the second gem? Did you see the man's face? Unfortunately, no. He was too far away. <laughs> Understood. If she comes back this way, tell her to find me at Pardis Di. Yes, General. Let's keep going.
There's no one else we can ask for clues. With this many traces, it's easy to get mixed up. Let me take a closer look. Sure. We'll continue analyzing the footprints over here. Conversation. Well, let's tell Sino and Candace what we learned. The Fane of Ashwata? Where did you get this information? Well, uh, uh, we were tipped off by some friends. We can vouch for the information. All right. I trust you. <laughs> Another vision? Was Nilu one of the voices? <sighs> Let's head towards the ruins for now. The vision could mean we're on the right track. We should be getting close. This area is usually full of treasure hoarders. Neil could be in danger. It's Nilu! Hey! I don't think she can hear us. We're too far away. What are you doing here? Can't we stick to one question at a time? Oh wait, that one doesn't count! What dreadful cacophony! Are we not allowed a quiet place to practice? Saroosh! Ah, Pale Floater! And my Yasna Potty! You know this... red floating being? and the Bloom Guard of Quarina. Uh, Sarush is a Pari we met in the Vorukasha Oasis. She's really nice, you just have to get used to the way she talks.
So you were the one who bought the other gem! A Ouijat I... Pari. Sounds like something I've read about before. Now's not the time for riddles. Everyone in the city is still worried about Nilu. Message? What message? Don't tell me Roshnu fell asleep halfway there. Again! Oh, hearing that name, this is all starting to check out. Who's Roshnu? Hold on, let's take this one thing at a time. First, what are you guys doing here? They're here. <laughs> I've had enough of these insufferable rascals wreaking havoc in the desert right and left. <sighs> Wake up, Rashnu. We need to teach them a lesson or we'll never get another good night's sleep. <sighs> Trap them with my thorns when they pass by, and you can take care of the rest. Perfect! They don't stand a chance! Let's give them a taste of sheer terror! Uh. Uh. What in the... thorns?! Boss! The wagon is stuck! Huh? huh? So you're not entirely ignorant after all. Fine, I'm willing to call it a day. But if those scoundrels continue to disrupt the peace of this land, I will show no mercy! can get along with anyone, huh? Sethos fulfilled his duty well. I have come here for a monumental task. What task? I heard Lesser Lord Kusanali is currently celebrating her birthday in the city. As her familiars, the Pari have decided to bestow upon her a special gift. As decided by Elder Zervan, the Bloomguard of the Pari, that would be me, will present the dance of Sebzerus to Lesser Lord Kusanali, a tradition passed down over the centuries. Good thing I did. How was I to know the current version is nothing like the original? Well, there are bound to be changes over the centuries. young Milu's determination, so I invited her here to practice in peace. Oh, so that's what happened. Feels like we've been chasing bad guys for days, but in the end, there were no bad guys at all. It was all for the heat of surprise.
That would explain why they chose a remote path away from Aru Village. They're lucky you didn't catch them in the act. Okay, remind Paimon not to get on Candace's bad side. Oh yeah! What exactly is this thing? It was a gift from King Deshra to Lesser Lord Kusanali. I only know the basics. I never thought these two gems could be connected to the relic from the legend. But, the Ouijad Eye was lost after the Cataclysm in Conria, buried deep beneath the sands. And Lesser Lord Kusanali turned the Quarina into a divine bird, tasked with guarding the border between new birth and death, until the bird shattered into pieces and gave rise to the Pari. So Candace actually saw things recorded by the Ouijad Eye. Technically, the eye belongs to Lesser Lord Kusanali. Why don't you just give it back? I don't fully understand your reasoning, but if this is the decision of the group, as well as my Yasnapati, then I shall object no further. Well, are you going to let me teach the girl the dance of Sub-Zeros, or do you intend to drag this on incessantly? Uh, she's got a point. Now that we know it was all a false alarm, let's go back and tell everyone what happened. They're probably worried. I'll tell the other Matra to keep an eye out for that caravan. If we find evidence of any misconduct, we won't let them off lightly. I think I'll check it over later, though. We were so worried about you all, it was kind of hard to focus.
you play music before. Actually, I have a favor to ask as well. These are the decorations for the flower carriage. Could you bring them to the sanctuary of Surasthana and hang them on the carriage? Oh, it would mean a lot to have the Knight of Flowers personally decorate it. You can count on us! Now we just have to go to the sanctuary of Suristana and hang the decorations on the flower carriage! Huh, wonder what the sanctuary looks like the night before the festival. Let's go check it out! Are those Parisaras?
On that topic, I wonder how much it's worth. An alarm? Yes, that's what I heard just now. Dear friends, a critical moment has arrived. It is time to come together and play genius in b Archon, but we Pari have our own duties, and we find the city a bit too noisy. Well, that's also true. I have fond memories of my adventures with Pale Floater and my Yasnapati. Ah, uh, really? Paimon's happy to hear that. It felt like this Subzeros Festival had surprises for everyone. When you called out the Aranara, Hyman nearly fell out of the sky in shock! No wonder Arasaka was so flustered. He was trying to keep it a secret! Oh, Paimon's sure everyone in Sumeru loved the surprise. It felt like a dream. Nahida? is reserved for the mighty Pari. Oh, Paimon's the only one allowed to float next to him. Thank <laughs> you. 